So let's see where there. I bet there might be some questions, though. I saw some faces. Uh, when you first multiplied the um, one times the imaginary number, you got the uh, triangle, the red triangle, right? Mm hmm. And then you said if we multiply one plus the imaginary number by the imaginary number, we'll get that orange triangle. Is that right? Mm hmm. Okay. Well, yeah. Let's just do it again. Let's do it without the grid. Let's just do it with line. Looks like it's about the same number. Well, so just just uh, like put to put yourself in someone else's shoes for a minute. Um, with numbers, like if you were the number four and you didn't know that you were really the number four, you'd probably think that you're just number the number one. You're just like, you know, you measure everything so in terms of yourself, you think you're number one, right? It happens sometimes. So if you're talking to the number four and you know his proclivity is to think he's number one, and he tells you something that looked like the number four to him, how big would you say it is? Because you know you're number one, and he's really four. Twenty-four. How, how did you get that number? Uh, because each of the ones that he says is a one is actually a four to you. Okay. You know what the number one is. So then we're going to take how many fours? It'll be four fours. Okay. What do you get when you have four fours? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah, did I say twenty-four? Yeah. <laughs> right, six, yeah, tw uh, 16. Mm -hmm. So that's 4 is 4. So let's take a look over here. Same kind of thing, except now it's not just numbers talking about each other, simple magnitudes, but now it's also the direction. So let's say you're talking to number A, who thinks he's number 1. And this number is reporting to you something about his neighbor, who he calls A. Where does his neighbor live? Do you want to draw it or describe it? So if we say that he's one, Pretty good to me. Why, why did why did you put it there? Well, if the relationship between one and a is this angle, then the relationship between a and another a would be that same angle, mm -hmm. whatever it is. And that um. I guess I just, it's hard to describe the links, but you can describe the triangles, the similar triangles. Okay. You would say that this, this triangle has this face as one, mm -hmm. and all the other angles are the same. Right. So that's how I would make it. Okay. Let me ask you another question. Um, what is this spot right here? 
Seems a little crooked. Here's one. There's A. Uh, where's that? A is A. Because you don't know anything about the angles. It's hard to determine it. Because all you know is that these two, you know the triangle. Mm -hmm. You don't know anything about the lengths of the triangle or the angles of it. But you know that this triangle has a relationship, 1 and A, and you want to recreate that same relationship. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect to have the right idea. I mean, I don't have a ruler here with millimeters on it or anything. Okay. What would you call that in terms of the original one? We'll call this um, uh, yeah, A squared. Okay. A squared. How about, what if we use that special letter I, that special direction I, or E as we first called it? How would you describe a squared using that as a tool? Yeah, I guess I didn't quite get that. Was that the, the E was the relationship between 1 and negative 1 and the, s the squaring to get to it? Yeah, E or uh, I, let's say I. I was the thing that when you squared it, you got negative 1. first drew it, it ended up looking like this in the end. In terms of where, where, what, what is the i in that case? If that's the one, what's the what's the number that, if done to itself, would give you negative one? Uh, this would be negative one. Okay. And then, oh, i would be this or yeah, this one. How long along it? Uh, the length of w one. Okay. Looks a little long. What would you call a squared? Plus I? It looks like I plus I, yeah. What would you call A? I'm just going to write some of these things that you said. You said that was I. You said this was I plus I. Mm -hmm. What would you call A? Oh, the square root of I. Or the square, uh, no. Huh. I think it's a little too long to be the square root of I, but it looks like it's in the same, that direction. Mm -hmm. How about just in terms of 1 and i? Because those are the two directions that with those two directions we can get anywhere we want. Mm -hmm. How would you describe a? Half of i? Well, from here, 
If you just went half of I, you'd just be right here, right? That's not, is that oh, A? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do, you, how do you get to A? You move up this direction to get to A. From where? From 1. Okay. So, it'll be 1. Oh, plus I. Equals A. <laughs> putting a few words in your mouth, but I... <laughs> well, no, I mean, it is. Putting together all the things that you said, it is. You said this is i plus i, and you said this is 1 plus i, uh -huh. and you said this is a squared. Right. You're saying that's 1 plus i squared. And i plus i, I just took the liberty of calling that 2i, because it's 2 of them. Right, right. That's the same as what was over here. 1 plus i. See it on this thing here. Take a look at what happens if I have that side. Okay, here's one plus i. Yep, there it was. Mm -hmm. Copy. Put it under there. And you get here. Oh yeah, it's two i. You didn't pause there, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you took every point on this square did the same thing. It took each point on the square, looked at it as its own independent thing, and then did it times itself. You would get all the points on this, whatever that shape is. Mm. You would just do it, you, you'd cover it, you'd end up covering it twice, though. Mm. So let's say this is like, this is what squaring looks like. Or what multiplying something by itself looks like. 